Hi everyone, hope you all are doing good. Today I am back with another new video on implementation of logic gates using NOR gate. If you haven't yet watched my previous video on universal gate and implementation of logic gates using NAND gate, do click on this link up or else you can also check on my description. So without any further delay, let's get started. In this video, I am going to discuss about implementation of each and every logic gate using NOR gate. A NOR gate is an universal gate that means any other gate can be represented as a combination of NOR gate. First, we will start by seeing the implementation of NOT gate using NOR gate. So, to construct a NOT using NOR, we need to join the inputs of a NOR gate. As we know that NOR gate is equivalent to OR gate followed by a NOT gate and joining the inputs of the NOR gate actually represents the output of OR gate is eliminated from the circuit. That means only we are left out with NOT functionality. That means if we join to, ga to gate a NOT gate, if we join the inputs of a NOR gate, we will get the same functionality as NOT gate. Next, we will see how to implement OR gate using NOR gate. So, OR means it is made by inverting the output of a NOR gate. So, we have to invert the output of a NOR gate. That means we need a NOR followed by a NOT. Then only it will represent the same functionality as OR gate. So, we already have a 2 input NOR gate. So, to get a 2 input OR gate, we need a 2 input NOR gate followed by a NOT. So, from our last slide, we have seen NOT means we have to give the inputs as joined. So, we have to join the inputs of NOR gate. Then only it will represent as NOT gate. So, NOR followed by a NOT will give us the same functionality as OR gate. Next, we will see how to implement AND gate using NOR gate. So, to construct AND using NOR gate, we need two NOT gates. So, let's say we have two input AND gate. We want to construct two input AND gate. So, we need two inputs as A and B and these two inputs will be given to two NOT gates and the output of these two NOT gates will be fed into a NOR gate. So, two NOT gate output followed by a NOR gate will give us the same functionality as AND gate. Next, we will see how to implement NAND gate using NOR gate. So, we know that NAND means AND followed by a NOT. So, already we have seen from our previous slide, AND gate means two NOT gate followed by a NOR will give us AND gate and NOT means by joining the inputs of a NOR gate. So, here we have NAND gate construction, two NOT gate followed by a NOR and also followed by a NOT gives us the NAND functionality. Next, we will see how to construct XNOR gate using NOR gate. So, to construct XNOR gate using NOR gate, we need four NOR gates. Let's say we want to construct a two input XNOR gate and the inputs are A and B. So, how we will construct them? First, we will have the first NOR gate and the inputs a and B will be fed into this first NOR gate and also these inputs will be fed into the second and third NOR gate also. Now, this output of this first NOR gate will be fed into second and third as other inputs and the output of this second and third uh, NOR gate will be fed into this fourth NOR gate. So, that's how XNOR gate works. So, to construct a XNOR gate, we need four NOR gates then only the functionality works as equivalent to XNOR gate. Next, we will see how to implement XOR gate using NOR gate. So, we know XOR gate can be constructed if we have XNOR followed by a NOT. So, we have seen just now, we need 4 NOR gates to have an XNOR gate and followed by a NOT will give us XOR gate. So, totally we need 5 NOR gates to construct XOR gate. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching this video. Do like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon 
Do also comment down below your feedback on this video and share it with as much as possible your friends, colleagues and various aspirants. Also follow us on Facebook and WhatsApp. Link is shared on the description. See you next time. Till then, stay tuned, stay safe.